Hey guys, welcome back to Out of Bounds. I'm Chelsea Thomas. And I'm Manny Adeye. And now we're gonna be talking about something a little more serious. So Jerry Richardson, owner of the Panthers, said he's going to sell the Panthers at the end of December after reports broke that several significant settlements were paid to several employees because of inappropriate workplace conduct and language. Apparently he said a racial slur to an African-American employee. So we all know what that slur was. Yes, and he, mm -hmm. he asked one employee if he could shave her legs. Wow. Yeah, he's into some weird shit. There's some, there's some really, we're seeing a whole lot of interesting things like just come yeah. out these days, owners, uh, the, the Weinstein guy, a couple of like, mm -hmm. people are weird, man. That's kind of. People are weird, but I'm also not surprised. Yeah, I mean, when, when people have power, when the wrong people have power, mm -hmm. their true selves come out. Yeah, know? exactly. Like, I'm not even, I'm not gonna even, you know, like, I, me as a woman, just, I'm, I haven't experienced anything like this significant, but, you know, I've worked in several bars and stuff, and like, the shit you hear, people, the, the things that people think that they can say to you is just crazy. So I'm not surprised at all when someone, like the owner of a team, like, you yeah. know, like, you well, walk to a building, this, this whole building is my shit, you know? Here, like, here's here's you're the thing, have. you're completely right about that. Like, it's his building. Yeah. So, like like I said, when you have power, you think and... You feel like a, a like self entitled. You feel like you can say whatever you want, and mm -hmm. sometimes you can, but at the same time, and it kind of goes back to, to how, you know, um, President Trump is in office, but yeah, he says certain things like grab her by the pussy, which is kind of, mm -hmm. which is kind of out there to, to be saying oh, as a president. Mm -hmm. But things have been changing. I know a lot of people like to say it's locker room talk, but let's not put the locker room title on that. It's just pretty much, people say locker room talk, but they say it anywhere they are. Like, it's not a locker room thing. If you're with a certain person where you talk a certain way to, mm -hmm. you're gonna say whatever the hell you want, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't surprised at all. But, so one thing, like, you know, silver lining out of this situation is Diddy. Big Diddy. Diddy. Big Diddy. It said that he has said that he would like to buy the Panthers and become the first African American minority owner of an NFL team. Okay, y'all, this is just in breaking news. The North Carolina Panthers, okay? North Carolina Panthers are up for sale. Well, I need to send a message out to everybody in the beautiful state of North Carolina. Um, I will be the best NFL owner that you can imagine. I will immediately address the Colin Kaepernick situation and put him in the running for next year's starting quarterback. It's just competition, baby. It's just competition. But also... I will have the best halftime show, the best selection of music, and we will win Super Bowl. Yeah. And once he said that, Colin Kaepernick also said he's willing to join in. Stephen Curry said he's also wanting to so join in. So we got in. a lot of people playing the game. Curry is a diehard Panthers fan, That's for right. those of you don't, that don't know that. So I am 100% here for this because this would be a major achievement for the culture. Like, we really need this for the culture. Like. Not only does Diddy have the means, he has the clout, he has the swag to he effectively has run. Yeah, he has and everything. He has, like you said, he has the means. A lot of people say, oh yeah, I'll own the team, but you don't got the money to exactly. own the team, buddy. Exactly. Diddy got the money to do it. Exactly. And, and, when, and like he said in his video, uh, them halftime shows, they gonna be something. And he gets Crazy. so lit. And like we said earlier, you see this Patriots jersey, but it could quickly be a different blue. <laughs> Let P. Diddy on that thing. No, that, uh, I'm, quickly be a I'm different not going to lie, that would, that would become my surrogate team if Diddy owned <laughs> the Panthers. For sure, like, definitely. OD. So, but one thing that pissed me off about, another thing besides Richardson, that pissed me off about this situation. So, Manny, I'm going to let you explain it. All right, so, I don't even, it, it, Things like this really kind of leave me speechless. So, so Diddy released a video saying he's gonna, you know, he has interest in buying the Panthers and all the good things he's gonna do. And a certain uh, media outlet out in the Bay Area, uh, they decided to to pretty much say some some controversial things. Honest with you, you know, it's not a large amount, but I can definitely pick in five dollars. 
By the way, how can you take Diddy seriously? You don't? The guy looks high right there in that video. Yeah. He looks high. He looks like he just smoked a blunt and drank a 40. And he says, look, I will buy them right now. Come on. I'm not taking him seriously. Really? Daria, no. no. you got to stay in your comfort zone. If I you see. If you music, go and do your music thing. You know? I don't but really don't even know what Diddy does football. anymore. Yeah, what does Diddy do? What does even Diddy do? Diddy's drinking and smoking right now. I told you, you could tell by looking at this video. The man was in another world. You can't take everybody for their work. The lady Dara, the world according to Dara, for some reason says, oh, I don't even know what Diddy does. Like, like who is Diddy? Who are you? Like, I'm not, I don't even know who you are. Like, I've never seen you before. I've seen Diddy, I don't know how many times, and no one knows what you do. Diddy can literally step on you with the amount of money he's made and has right now. So who are you to have the audacity to even have an opinion on what Diddy can or cannot do? And the Henry Wooford, I don't even, I've never even seen this man's face, but at the same time, you cannot come on national TV and say somebody looks like they just finished smoking a blunt and be like, how are you just gonna assume that out of nowhere. And I don't want to say because he's black, but it is because he's black. And, you already know. And that's just really sad that there we still live in this There so world. many degrees of racism within those little, so they, 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 they both released a statement afterwards saying they thought it was, a, they were just using it as a joke. They were just making a joke. There was, there, there's so, I, oh my God, it just, it just really infuriates me because one, first of all, Diddy's net worth is at eight hundred and twenty million dollars. You think this man is drinking forties? Don't don't try to play him like that. Like that, that is he's a not fact he's too. not drinking forties. So you're you're just making an assumption or a, a, stere, a stere, stereotypical uh, comment that black people drink forties. You're corny for that. Two, how dare you try to come at this man's credibility when he has, as a businessman, not only as a rapper, shown what he can achieve and has taken his music and and just extended extended his reach into fashion. He owns an alcohol, he owns Ciroc, like music, he owns multiple businesses. So for you to try to come at him and question his credibility as a potential business owner and owner of the Panthers is just so ignorant of you, it's just crazy to me. And third, like like I said, you're gonna question, you're gonna quit, well, like you said, you're gonna question what Diddy does and his relevance, girl, I don't even know who you are. Girl, you're on a local news station. In California. No disrespect to California. New no, York is I love better. Cali. Honestly, but sorry. Yeah, New York, to our producer up. Carson behind the camera from <laughs> Cali. New York is better. Yeah, that's but a fact. I don't know who the hell this lady is. The nerve of a nobody to come on TV and say she don't know who Diddy is or like what What's he Diddy doing do? these days? What is he doing these days? It's ridiculous, and it's it, it hurts because America is still so racist. Like, the fact that the oh, man dude. said that is so crazy. And then try to play it off as a joke. Like, this is, this, is, this is what people need to understand. Like, this is the type of racism that often gets overlooked and swept under the rug because this is not the kind of racism where it's like, you know, I overtly, I explicitly, I hate black people. No, no, no. It's like through your microaggressions and through your little your little statements and jabs, it's like you're su making suggestions about the culture as a whole and as black people as a whole that we're, that we're for some, you know, we're beneath you or doing things. Like Diddy is talking about buying a team. He did not look high, even if he was high, but he did not look high at, in that video at all. So for you to try to discredit him, with that, it was just so it's just it's just so crazy to me. And this is why I, like I'm like I'm glad this kinda came up because a lot of times, and I'm sure you've experienced this too, like when you try to talk about social justice issues or the yeah. black plight, people, white people, often say to me, Chelsea, how can you understand this what this what these people what these black people are going over here when you went to a private school your whole life you never you never lived in the projects you went to Fordham blah 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 like and this is a perfect example of this is exactly what Jay-Z was talking about in the story of OJ yeah. rich nigga poor nigga field nigga house nigga it doesn't fucking matter like you're still nigga like that's at that's all day, it is right. like at the end of the day like your your color is the only thing that they see and it, it supersedes every accomplishment you've ever done. Like, like it really makes me upset because Diddy is like the epitome 
of black excellence. And for them for yeah. to try to clown him on TV like that is so disrespectful. And if I was Diddy, like I would dead ass call for them to be fired. Like oh, don't yeah. you fucking bye, dare. Bye, like bye. use your clout to get to get them the fuck out of here. Like by, by all means. And and the sad thing is that you know America's so racist and and how it is and. Part of the reason why I feel like they were okay with saying what they said is because, like I said a couple minutes ago, President Trump is okay with saying whatever the hell he wants to say, mm -hmm. and he gets away with it. He tweets whatever he wants, he says whatever he wants, and that's what's kind of, what I guarantee you, because we've been seeing a lot of things like this, and it's not going to stop here, because people now feel like they can say whatever they want racially, crossing the line, and then still get away with it. Yeah, and then just, just chat it off as like off. a joke. Like. So, and it's... Honestly, it's it's a tough topic to talk about. I'm I'm sitting here a little bit upset. I'm super upset about it, as you can clearly see. Like I'm super upset about that. Like it's it's, it's the world we live in at the end of the day. So Diddy, please, please, you need to scoop. You need to scoop Oprah. You need to scoop <laughs> Cap. I would rather. Cap. I hope Cap. Like Cap. Like, well, here's the thing. If Diddy, Diddy buys wants team, Cap to play, exactly. but Cap wants Cap. part of the ownership. Either way, <laughs> he could be an owner yeah. or he could play. But I mean, we got Cam there. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, he we can, can be a good backup. He can be a wide receiver, Connor. Let's be for real. Like you can throw the rock. Not even they can do some triple option. Like they can both they both run the ball. Listen, y'all can work some things out. Give me a call, baby. I can, Steph Curry. I can, I can show you a little something. Get Jay Z in that. That's right. Like let's get this group going. Let's I'll get this group going. I'll buy me a Panthers going. jersey. Like you said, that'll be my second favorite team. Exactly. Like so, that will be my surrogate team. Like I will. I will rep the Panthers hard, like. Until y'all go to Super Bowl, play us, and then, uh, <laughs> you already know how that story goes, Diddy. Diddy, don't you? doing you, baby. Yeah. New York, you know what's up? Hey.